We're back. I'm really excited because we're bringing back the behind the scenes weekly vlogs. I've been really busy. I want to showcase what it's like being here and working and doing all the shit that needs there's a plane. Behind the scenes. Today's a really busy day. I have a couple phone calls. I want to get a shoot done. I have a product to launch on the shop today. So I'm going to show you how I do all that and hopefully not fall over. All right, first things first. So this is the item we're going to post up on the shop today. This took me months of thinking and indecisiveness on what the colors and the design are going to be. I knew for sure it had to be some blue, black, white theme. It had to be really strong because of course it's got to protect your camera from falling. And then I also definitely wanted these Peak Design anchor links because I shoot on gimbals and I need to be able to take it off the camera and put it back on really easily. So I had to include that. So that's what's going on in the shop today. We gotta first promote it on Instagram and let the people know. We took all these product shots and now I'm making an IG story. I used Adobe Spark Post to create this little template and it moves. Check it out. Oh, very, very nice. The only thing I would change is probably the length here. But you'll learn. The only way to fix it is to like redo it. Or what we've been doing is you just tie it in a knot to keep it shorter. Maybe they don't think it's as long as I do. I'm just like super picky on things. But you learn. That's what the best part about owning a business is. Hi Emily, how are you? Oh yeah, it's good to talk about this. I just think your topic is so interesting because the comments, some of them are pretty sexist. Some, Most of them are actually really supportive and nice. Ugh. That was awesome. So this one female, she's in New York. She was actually looking for lens reviews and she stumbled upon mine. And most of her work is about female stories. So she reached out to me and was like, hey, can I do an interview with you? She said that there wasn't a lot of female tech reviewers and camera reviewers on YouTube that she noticed. Like it's mostly male dominated. So she really wanted to hear my story and why I think there's not enough of them. And it's pretty cool because I try to promote as many <laughs> female YouTubers that I can, like I Justine, Sarah Dietschy, Lizzie, Becky and Chris, all my friends to get them out there and just let other females know like you can be represented. There's other females doing it and hopefully you can start a channel as well. Probably gonna post it up on Glamour or Wired, which is crazy, so we'll see if it ends up there. It's a very important topic to talk about. Next. So right now I'm finishing up my thoughts and script because this small HD focus seven inch monitor is gonna be announced on the fourth. So I gotta get this organized and shot today, hopefully. This is the original, the five inch. So I'm gonna be talking about the two, the differences, the similarities. I like to script things out, especially if it's like product reviews because I could just talk and talk for hours and ramble and my brain just like all over the place all the time like it is right now. So especially for this, I wanna have everything organized so when, when the editing happens, it doesn't take too long. Pre-production's important, people. Unless it's a vlog, then whatever. Oh, people are really excited about these bracelets. We got a couple orders in, which I'm really excited about. We only have 20 of them, so. If they sell out, they sell out. Limited edition, I guess, until we make more. Right now, we're getting everything organized. I wanna give them some Atola stickers, so we should cut those up. Ship them out. Give them some hugs. If you're watching this and you bought one, I hugged yours. <laughs> extra, extra love. And it'll get over there safely. Now you know, you got a sticker, it was hand cut by me in my oversized hoodie. Someone reached out to me on Instagram and asked for an Atola sticker and for me to sign it. And I feel bad because I don't have paper stickers, like these are made out of plastic, so it's probably gonna rub off. But just funny people asking me for an autograph, like I'm not famous, yo. I'm just a little old kitty. All right, it's going out. Thanks for the love, eh, fam? And everyone gets an extra hug. <laughs> doggy, doggy, doggy. 
This is probably why it takes me so long to do everything. Donkey, donkey, donkeys. And if you have dog hair in your envelopes, I'm sorry. Everyone, this is Yumi. You should know her by now. This little, this little boy over here, this is Wally. We babysit him from time. Move, you're in the shot. Typical Yumi, you already know. We puppy sit him like a couple times a week, so he gets to hang out and play with Yumi. And it's another dog for me to pet pet. Doggies. Thank you guys. I'm dropping off my first batch of straps, so they'll be coming to you soon. Hope you like them. I have this major collab with some of my favorite YouTubers who are in the film and video industry. We're gonna talk about the challenges of having and running a YouTube channel and what makes it all worth it. So I got a lot of my friends currently, I think like 13 here to talk about it in more detail. So I'm really excited. I gotta write out what I'm gonna say because I still haven't figured that out. I asked how often you get stressed or overwhelmed and Caleb's like, Pretty much weekly. Sounds about right. I think mine's more frequent. How do I start it? I feel like the hardest part about every YouTube video is like the first five seconds. And then after that, I can get it rolling pretty easily, but. We're shipping out the very last batch of them because we sold out in a day and a half, which is mind blowing and crazy. So let's wish them well, give them extra, extra hugs and send them off to their new home. There you go, they're off. So it's pretty interesting for the first time selling my own products from like start to finish, thinking of design, finding someone to make it and then shipping it out to you. A few things I didn't realize was the demand of it. I really thought I'd probably sell like one or two maximum. It, it's a lot of work, of course, for like very little return, which is fine because this is just a cool experience. A good learning experience. Hopefully I could do more and we'll see where this all goes. But for a first time, I think it did pretty good. So thank you guys if you bought one. I appreciate it. Again, I said thank you a million times, but here's a million more thank yous. Arigato. They don't even fit, there's so many. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna have to do this in half and half. Wow, I suck at this. 